Welcome back. I'm Nicole BW, and this is The Simple Life 2. And I feel like poo. Uh, so there's a reason that I don't feel great. It's because I just spent so much time recording and it didn't pick up my microphone. There was a Windows update and I don't know. And I don't feel like doing a voiceover for it. So I'm just going to re-record. So this is Duarte, first guy in our uh, village here. And he has the worst last name. <laughs> so we're the best, depending on your point of view. So here's the thing. Um, we got this house finished, which we got a new girl named Jennifer. I made her the baker. And then this one just finished right before I started recording last time. I went ahead and made him the miner because I really want the miner. I made him um, stone tinker tools. That is not the right place to put this. Why didn't you guys say something? You probably did. I'm silly that way. Uh, so we made him stone tinker tools because I thought the wood wouldn't be enough. Um, once we level him up, he can have stronger tools and I won't have to uh, upgrade them as much. So he's, he's working away down there. Uh, we're not going to really pay him any attention today because today we're going to work on astral sorcery. Now, I've already done a lot of this stuff. Great, it's raining, so they've stopped working. Um, I've already done a lot of this stuff and videotaped it, and so I will try to go through it as best I can. So you'll find these things. They usually have more marble around the bottom, but I, I stole the marble out of them. Um, and there is a chest somewhere. I think it's this pillar here. It's usually the northeast corner. So there's a chest in it. You will find, uh, these papers, constellation papers. Once you put them in your inventory, they will have a name below them. Uh, once you get four or five, you'll stop getting names on them. So you wanna shift right click in your book, you can put them in there. Once they're in there, there will be a tab with the constellations. You can then click on them. And once you do some more stuff, it'll give you information about each of those. Now, uh, once you've collected the stuff from a few of those chests and a few of those areas, um, you'll want to find a bigger, uh, let me go to here, ignore this. Don't look, don't look. I've made, I made an area in the sky. It's, there's a reason for that and I will explain it in a minute. Then you'll wanna find these bigger uh, structures like this. Once you do that, you will want to dig down and you will find these with floating crystals in it. I think I showed this in a previous episode. So there will also be chests uh, and they will say there's nothing here. You can, uh, once you put it in your inventory and it doesn't give you, there's usually a text, uh, there that tells you what it is. Um, you want to collect a few of those extra, but nothing too major. Maybe there's more. I haven't collected any of this stuff. I haven't even broken into this before. So once you're here, you want to make sure you bring some stuff with you two crafting tables, regular vanilla crafting tables. You want some aquamarine and you'll want to be able to make this wand and you'll be want to make the crafting table. So if you go in your book, go into discovery, uh, there's the crystal, this crystal right here. There's about the constellation papers. Uh, you'll want to make this wand, which is a couple marble uh, let me turn the sounds down. 
because it is loud. Uh, where is it? What would it be? Blocks? Ambient. I have no idea. I think it's ambient. Anyway, uh, some aquamarine, which you can find in sand underwater. Uh, make sure you can just use a shovel to dig it up and an ender pearl. So you want to do that in the crafting table. You want to come down here, put your crafting table down. You can put it anywhere in here. There will be a white beam of light that goes to the crafting table. You'll want to craft it like normal and you'll have this resonating wand. Once you have that, you'll want to uh, come outside. I wonder if it has to be dark. We're going to turn off the rain. We're going to set it tonight. Because this is more of kind of a tutorial type episode, you'll see some white floating particle beam type things. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any really in this area too much. They're kind of few and far between. So if you find an area with a bunch of them, definitely write down the coordinates for those. So you'll want to find the coordinates for those on top. It only shows um, up on the surface. We might not find any that the beams might be up there um, or not. Or the beams could be in caves as well. Um, I think it's well, maybe it's on the surface. I don't know. Um, but you want to write down the coordinates because you go down towards bedrock and you will find ores. Uh, the ores are, that's the, that's what you're looking for down below by bedrock. That is for the, the blue and the blue gems. So while you still have your crafting table in this shrine, you'll want to make a uh, luminous crafting table. So this is how you make it. You can use marble. You want to use that second crafting table. I guess you can use a crafting station. Uh, and a sooty marble, which is just coal with marble around it. And I meant to grab some while I was still here. I already had it ready to be made because I'm going to need some more. Oops. So let's jump back. Sorry, it's a lot of jumping back and forth. Okay. I had it here <laughs> and then I upgraded it in the last episode. It's so bad when I recorded the last time. Okay. So it talks about marble and the city marble there. So you're pretty much done with discovery. Next, you'll want to go to exploration. Now, you'll need a light well, which is specific marble from Astral Sorcery. So make sure you get the right ones. You'll want some of the rock crystal, which you will get from the ores down by bedrock. And you'll want some aquamarine, which is what you get from um, the sand underwater. So you want to make that in your new crafting table. So it's basically this without these little floaty bits on the corners. That's what it looks like. And uh, that is, uh, so once you put your recipe in there, uh, shift right click on it, it will do some white beams and then give you your light well. Once you have the light well, let's, oh, I guess I can't click. That was weird. Uh, let's grab one of these. You'll want to right click on it with one of these. You'll start getting liquid starlight, which is awesome. This well holds about two buckets worth. Now, one of these could last a short time. It could last a long time. You could fill up the whole thing with one, or you might need four or five to fill. Um, it, they all last a different amount of time. Now, it will make like a glass breaking sound when it finally breaks, so don't be startled by that. The next thing you want to do is make this thing, the Sky Wave Resonator. Now, you'll need a bucket of liquid starlight. That's why you're doing this. 
uh, so gold, some marble, and aquamarine. Do it in your crafting table. You're gonna need starlight. All of this stuff needs to be done. Well, the crafting needs to be done at night uh, because if you look in the table, there will be get out of there. Uh, why? Oh, I know why it's red. It's not normally red, uh, but there's a structure I have to make underneath it. That's why it's red because it says you can't craft here. Oh, see, it just broke. Oh, hello. Uh, so we got some more liquid starlight. So you want to make one of these, make it in your crafting table, uh, shift, right click. I think you have to shift, right click. Maybe you don't have to shift, but you right click with your wand. Uh, it will make it and it'll make one of these. Now what the area you want to find is this blue, smoky, foggy with the white uh, stars, sparkles in it. That is the type of area you'll want to put your crafting table. Uh, putting it out here is not gonna give you nearly enough starlight. Putting it in here is like overpowering it. It's super important to do that. Once you find an area like that, you'll want to do that because you're going to need to make structures for your crafting table and for different things in this mod pack. So we did the starlight crafting altar, which is marble pillars. You're going to need your original crafting table to be completely full of starlight. The bar at the bottom needs to be completely full. Do it at like midnight. It'll be uh, well worth it. It will do some animation, which is really kind of cool. I wish you guys could see it. I might put a little snippet, a video, if I can remember when I'm editing, uh, of what it looked like. And then uh, it will turn into that. Now, what we have to do is put it on this kind of structure. So we can click and drag uh, so we can see how you know how big if the center is three by three and then you're gonna put three on each of the corners and then you're gonna use that so I was gonna do that off camera but I really want to do it now <laughs> so ooh, that is good so we're gonna need some of that some of that some of that some of that and I believe some of that all right, so this is the very center of my platform, which I also think is the center of the uh, that dust thing. So we'll do a three by three plus three on each of the corners here. Okay, and then let's double check. And then it's going to be, what is underneath the pillars? those things. So it's going to be the bricks all the way around except on the corners. So let's move those out of the way. Let's get bricks. Those pillars. Okay. So like that. Oh, I really wish my microphone was working before. I feel super bad. I think it's this one in the corners. Um, if you cover over this, it'll tell you eight chiseled. Yeah, these are chiseled, right? No, those are engraved. I need chiseled. Do I have chiseled? I do. I just grabbed the wrong ones. Okay. Chiseled on the corners. And then we're going to need two with the chiseled on top. And then we're going to need to put the wave on the outside. Okay. Two with the chiseled on top. I'm playing another pack where I have jump boost. <laughs> I forgot I don't have jump boost. Playing multiple packs is so confusing guys. I have no idea. Uh, 
And look at that, the torches line right up. That's awesome. This is actually gonna get bigger though. Uh, so we put that in the center and now it's not red anymore, but it doesn't fill it up because it is dawn. If we go to nighttime, now it's full. And it's full, uh, super full because of, oops, that's not the one, because of the dark cloud. What? I wonder if I can put like, yeah, maybe, I don't know. I think, I don't know if this has to be open to the sky or if I can put glass up there. I don't know, somebody's hungry. Uh, so now we're able to use the next crafting table. So if we go in here and we look at starlight, I have all of these done and I've already collected them. I needed the liquid starlight bucket uh, to make this thing that will give me a loot bag. And we've made the table, which was in something that I can't deal with. The next thing we are going to do is the hand telescope, which I thought I was gonna have to wait to do, uh, but apparently not. Wow, ooh, yay, some more ender pearls. I could always use ender pearls since I'm playing on Peaceful so much nicer. Okay, so the hand telescope, we're gonna need that. So we need glass panes and an aquamarine. We don't have glass panes, that's too bad. Uh, we're gonna have to head on back and we don't actually have to do this right there. Uh, oh, we are gonna have to do the, um, I have glass panes in the warehouse. Uh, we do have to do the crafting in the table though. Where are those? Um, can we do, I think that's in the next one. Yeah. Oh, but we have that already. So the hand telescope, we can change into, we go into attunement, which is the next one, into a telescope. We are gonna need sticks, gold, and a plank. So let's do that as well. Um, where's my gold? Uh, how much gold? Dang it. Two. Two gold. A, a um, plank. And some sticks. We don't have sticks. What? You know what? Darn it. <laughs> you keep forgetting. Oh, that's funny. Okay. That was it, right? We don't need anything else. Okay. Let's head back. I really need a better way to travel. No, what? Oh, I'm stuck. Uh. I was stuck. Okay. I think... I need to change my waypoint. <laughs> so I'm gonna, don't, don't look guys. I'm gonna toggle into, into uh, creative and fly over there. My waypoint is stuck. It's in, it's in the, I forgot to change my waypoint. I am so flustered by my recording not working and getting all the right information to you guys. I forgot to change my waypoint before we left. So it spawned me inside the altar. <laughs> that 
That's not good. The structure we just made, it spawned me inside that. Uh, snow. It had to be in a snowy biome. At least it's not the rain sound, which is good. Okay. Let's change my waypoint. Uh, waypoint. Let's remove that one. New. We're going to do astral. Make it white. Okay. All right. Okay, good. Uh, so we need to do the tele hand telescope first. So we need an aquamarine. That is not right. So let's turn that off. Turn it to night because, oh, and I forgot. My bad. I don't want to double. So, yeah, you can just right click. No, that's not what I wanted. All right. Oh. How do you make the telescope? I was doing it wrong. I did it wrong, guys. No, I don't want attunement. I want exploration. Yeah, glass panes and an aquamarine. Oh, gives me that. Then a lens gold ingot. I should have looked better. <sighs> okay. I'm going to end up not having enough. Uh, I think it's like that. We're going to need another gold ingot. Uh, so there's that. Oh. And there we go. We have our hand telescope. I can see everything. Which is awesome. I... Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, we get a telescope. Yeah, I already knew that, which is awesome. Okay, so it was saying that you need to have the um, constellation paper in your offhand while looking in the hand telescope. So not all constellations are in the night sky we take a look, and I'm sorry if this is a little, um, dizzying, sickening. Yeah, I don't see this one. And it could take a while to find uh, the right one. So if we do that, we'll switch that out. And we'll do this. I haven't actually done this. I'm going to do it a little quicker, so don't look if it makes you sick. There will be stars that are bigger and move differently than the other stars. So all these stars that we're seeing are in the background. Um, what might be easier since we already have the telescope, let's just put the telescope here and take a look at why, oh, that's a deco craft telescope. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Let's go back super quick, grab another gold ingot, turn this hand telescope into a regular 
telescope. Okay, so we have, oh no. Um, I don't remember how it was. Do you guys remember? Not a clue. Okay. Uh, that was the hand telescope. Let's go zoom out, zoom in. We're gonna have to make it night again. I don't have a problem making it night like this because uh, it's it's going it's fading fast uh, because I'm trying to teach you guys. Stop that. <laughs> Excuse me. If you try to do it uh, when there's not enough starlight, it either won't let you do it or it will just fail. So we'll put that down. We can then just shift through. See how there's bigger stars there? Now we need to see how, what it looks like, right? Now we need to figure out which one of these constellations, why it does that, I don't know. Uh, there we go. Uh, which one of these constellations does it look more like? I think it looks like that one maybe. Let's, let's try it. So we click and drag and try to draw that same figure. Uh oh. Do I not have, I don't think I have the right thing. Yeah, I don't think I have the right thing. <clears throat> yeah, if you click off of it, constellation, um, I don't think that's, oh, maybe it's this one. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Did I not do that right? Was that not Visio? There to there, 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 there to there. There we go. I just didn't do it <clears throat> all the way. So now, it shows in the night sky, which is pretty kind of neat, cool, awesome. I like it. So it'll show in the sky from now on. And now we have information about it. What? So yeah, um, I'm going to try to find the other ones. They don't always show every night. Um, I don't know if you can do it in, a... oh, there's another one. I think it's this one. No? Maybe I'm not doing it right. Oh, it's got to have the things. Uh, Cross like that. It looks like a bow. No, don't fade. There we go. Got it. And that will uh, show in the sky as well. So now we have two of them. 
Amara and Vicio, and we learn about that. I'll have to find the other two as well. Uh, but that is going to be the end of, ooh, don't do anything with those. That is going to be the end of this episode. I'm really sorry about uh, it, my microphone not recording and me having to do all this all over again, which kind of sucks and me not being able to show you, um, exactly, you know, what I did or what happened. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. There's some really good tutorials on YouTube about this mod. Uh, I watched a really good one and um, spent all day, uh, one day, just I kept watching one right after another. He's got like seven or eight parts to it. It's crazy, crazy in depth about this mod. Uh, but it seems really, really cool, and I'm really excited about doing it. I want to know, can I put glass over this? I need to figure that out because I don't want it to be snowy all the time, and I don't want to have to keep toggling the it off. Oh, well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you think down below. If uh, Just remember, if you try out this mod, make sure you find a permanent place for it because you will be building a lot of structures for it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.